I'm Bradley Johnson with 1-800-DUI-AWAY. Not getting behind the wheel after drinking is the best choice. But if you're pulled over, the next best choice is to call 1-800-DUI-AWAY. It's another Jubal phone tab. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Moving 92.5. Hello? Hi, is this Nick Sp- Yes. Hey, Nick, how are you? My name is Elliot Sp- and I'm one of the assistants to the mayor, and I was told that you're the person I should speak with regarding a policy change. Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. You oversee the North <laughs> District, so that would be me. All right, sweet. Well, as you know, the mayor values your service and all the other firemen who work so hard to keep our city safe, so I want to start off by saying thank you on behalf of myself and the mayor. Great, thank you. No problem. Like I said, again, thank you. But there is one thing I think everybody can agree on, The fire departments are sort of a big money suck on the community, you know. Um, uh, Pardon me? Well, it costs a lot to keep these things running and pay all you guys, so fire department's kind of a big money waster sometimes. Of course it costs a lot of money. We are trained professionals. You want to talk about money suck, let's talk about mayoral spending and things like that, okay? Okay, okay. yeah, please don't take offense. We're not saying we want to no, take... How can I not take offense to that? That's 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 me, that's my job, that's yeah. my crew. We're protecting you guys Got it. 24-7. Yeah. yeah, I know, I know. And there's a lot of downtime sometimes. I mean, I don't think you can argue that, right? You know what we do on our downtime? Uh-huh. We practice, we go over drills, right, we okay. clean equipment. Yeah. Okay, that, I don't like your tone at all. Well, I, I can tell that, and I, trust me, I'm not accusing you of anything i'm not taking away anything from you i'm just I'm calling sorry, it how the, we what's see the it point of this call? It, it costs yeah, what, a lot of money i actually want to add something to the fire department okay what do you want to add well this is exciting the mayor has come up with a proposal and this would only be on the weekends from 5 p.m to about 7 30 or 8 in the evening at the firehouses in your district okay what we want to do is open the doors to exotic dancers so that they can use your poles for practice. Is this a f***ing joke? I think that you don't like the idea. That's what I'm picking up. No, not, not at all. This is un, unacceptable, it's unbelievable, it's disrespectful well, to what we do. Well, we've been contacted by a few gentlemen's clubs, and they're going through some renovations, and they asked if we had a place where ladies could dance, and I said... No, you're not going to use our space for that, no. Well, but you, you have a big pole. Right in the middle of that thing. Of course and, you have a big pull for emergency reasons. Yeah. You know, let me give you a second. So you have the dancers there. You have the people there. They're practicing. Mm-hmm. Emergency happens. Everybody clears out. They, they, just, they, they get in our way. No. Or that, 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 that can't happen. Throw them on the truck. <laughs> How Absolutely cool would that not. be? You pull up to an emergency and you got like a, a, a bunch of exotic dancers on a truck with firefighters. Hello. No, Talk about community not. outreach. No. I don't know who hired you. You're an idiot. You're the most stupid person I've ever spoken to in my life. I think you need to hear me out a little bit, okay? Because it could bring in quite a bit of money. Also, if we have people come in and watch, along with tipping the ladies who are dancing, they can have a jar there to make donations to the firehouse. So you think people in the community are going to be okay with dancers coming into the firehouse? I think they'll be more than okay. I think they'll be dropping by left and right, you know, to shake hands and see you guys and hang out with the ladies. So the mayor came up with the mayor's idea? Yeah, it is. He's trying to find ways to make money and save money and really, you know, get back in the black. Okay, the mayor's a f***ing idiot. Well, you know, you guys do those firefighter calendars and things like that. That's entirely different. That's not on company time. That's Mm -hmm. not in the firehouse. That's a fundraiser for other reasons. It's it's not unsafe. It's since, no. Since we're on the subject of community outreach, like I was we're saying. Not on the subject, we're not on the subject of community outreach. Oh, okay. Well, I thought we were. But think about this. What if some of your guys at the firehouse joined in with the strippers? Do you know how many people from around the neighborhood want to drop by? <laughs> That's a great way. I can't believe the mayor would allow something like this to go through, okay? What a stupid proposal. Okay. All right, he's already on thin. Wait till the papers hear about this. All right, okay. okay? A full, full disclosure here, and I need you to keep this between me and you. Okay, what? I'm listening. What? Okay, okay. so yes, this is a bit out there, but the mayor got in trouble with the missus a little while ago for going to too many strip clubs, so he's trying to bring him into a firehouse uh, for a couple hours a week so that he can... Oh, uh, okay, the mayor's a dirtbag. I'm definitely calling the media now. And you and the mayor are about to lose your job. Okay, well, then before you call the media, I should tell you this is a prank phone call. That'd be a good idea. I I don't get it. 
This is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you, and your assistant chief Tony set you up. No way. (laughs) (laughs) He said you're always getting pressured from the city to do stupid things and thought this would be perfect. That's true. I can't believe I fell for that. (laughs) That is such a dumb idea. Or a genius idea. Depends how you look at it. Yeah, I can see the city would think that'd be a good idea. (laughs) Wake up every morning with Jubal Phone Tabs. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Moving 92.5.